Today we're going to cover how to add applications to Microsoft Office 2013. My name is Kevin Vogel. I'm with Champion Solutions Group and let's get started. In this tutorial we're going to show you how you can add applications right to any of the Office programs like Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. First thing we're going to do is go up here and go to office.microsoft.com and what that will do is bring us to the Microsoft site that has everything to do with Office 365. And in here you can see we have all the resources that you need um, and we're going to look at the store. So let's just click on that store and you can see here we got applications that you can load into these uh, Word and different types of documents. I'm going to sign in here with my Microsoft account and just click on next and go to my Microsoft account and now I'm logged into this environment. I can then go here and pick an application that I want to uh, install or I can go to a specific Office application like Excel for instance. So let's click on Excel here and we'll see what applications are available. You'll see here Bing Maps. Let's add that. Just click Add, Add again, and it will give you instructions on how to install this right in your Office 2013 application set. They're pretty simple directions. So let's close out of the browser here and let's go and open up Excel. So I have Excel right here. I'll open that up. I'll select just a blank template and then I'll go here to insert applications right here at the top and you'll see that Bing Maps is, is already there. I can either click there or I can click in my apps for office space. Click and then I'll go down here and insert into my Excel document a map. Now what I can do is I can either start uh, customizing this I can use some some data that they already have sample data let's just click on the sample data here and you'll see that what that does is it actually imports some data with some state names and it actually draws the map for me for the western United States these figures are now represented by small graphs inside each one of the map points here. I can go in and edit this data. So if I go over here and let's say I go to Idaho and I change this from 60 to let's say 160 on um, the map here, you'll see that now my little chart here has changed, the legend has updated, and it's really that simple and that easy. For more information, please contact Champion Solutions.